Good morning. I have adjusted your alarm from the usual 2 p.m. time, as your monthly health examination is due today. The city-issued Medibot is here now. Calculating optimal navigation path. Oh. Item damaged beyond repair. Grandmother's ashes marked for disposal. Greetings, citizen. It is time for your monthly health check. As a reminder, if the screening finds you to be deceased, this will be classed as a failure. Please log into your account in the usual manner. Give me some best. User is now logged in. Reports show you are 27% weaker than last month. You will now be tested on your mobility. Please retrieve the glass bottle from over there. Thank you. I will present you with two images. Please select the one which most closely aligns with your emotional state. Don't worry, there is no wrong answer. Uh, wrong! Give my button a good poke. Oh, thank you. That wasn't part of the test. It's just been stuck for a while. We will now assess your vitality readings. Place your finger on the indicated spot and relax. Failure to relax will result in a severe electric shock. Oh, the lamp is malfunctioning again. It might explode. Quick, smash it on my head before it's too late. Do not concern yourself about the cost of the destroyed clamp. It has already been deducted from your next month's food allocation. As such, Taco Tuesdays have been downgraded to Tuesdays. Please stamp here to confirm the results of the test. The final portion of the examination is a simple observation test. I shall place this gamma ray scanotron amongst your clutter. Just pretend I'm not even here. Go about your normal day-to-day -day business as any organic would. All that exciting stuff. Blinking, aging, occasionally making yourself choke while drinking. After a physical examination, it is recommended to take a moment to relax and rejuvenate. I suggest opening the shutters and taking in the wonderful city sights. Truly inspirational. Priority news alert at your personal terminal. A priority news alert? We haven't had one of those since Fortitude recalled the telescopic arm implants. Breaking news for a mechanically summarized media. We have received multiple reports concerning a catastrophic explosion in Sector 3. Is this tied to the ongoing problems with robots neglecting their city jobs? We now go live to the office of the CEO of Fortitude Inc. for an announcement tagged quite important. Citizens of Salvation Heights, this greatest of cities, we find ourselves in unprecedented times. You may have noticed wayward behavior from some of the robot workforce, the gears driving our fine city. Well, to ensure maintenance is being completed and for everyone's safety, a series of checkpoints have been established around the city to manage robot travel. And these checkpoints will be manned by you. A small group of lucky humans will be chosen at random and given jobs. Real, live jobs. 
The winners will each receive a call as soon as I find the button to end this broadcast. Let us all embrace this exciting time together in one civic-minded group hug. Thank you. Oh, uh... Hmm, hmm, uh hmm, hmm. Ah, there it is. Incredible news. These will be the first new human jobs created since Daniel found Please Update Records. Now we return to our regular weekly panel discussion. What do humans do anyway? This is Pandemia, the CEO of Fortitude. You may recognize me from TV, specifically from just a few seconds ago. As the very first draw in our job lottery, I thought I would notify you of your win personally. Congratulations! You are now part of a very exclusive group. Humans with a job. As an additional treat, later we will be relocating you to a brand new apartment in the upper city. The important thing right now is the city needs saving. And you have won the privilege to take on this duty. Your first shift begins today, so we are sending over a vehicle right now. Please step into the back of the room for your own safety. Bye for now. According to this, you were actually the first result on the list making you the first human to get a new job in over two decades. It appears the maintenance protocol for this room has been activated. Please be careful. <laughs> they seem to be calling you number one. I assume it's a reference to you being the first result in the lottery? <laughs> but it sets up certain expectations, doesn't it? Oh, I'm Hallam. I'll be taking care of you. Now you're a Fortitude employee. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is this microphone even working? Can you hear me? Wave if you can hear me. Fantastic job. See, you're already living up to your name. <laughs> I really need to be sure as I can't be talking to myself, at least not twice in one day. Some of this old equipment has been gathering dust for a long time now. Since the introduction of the automated core AI, we shut down a lot of these older systems, and job roles for humans are now extremely rare. I've been one of the few remaining meat bags still overseeing things at Fortitude. And now I've been assigned to this new program, <laughs> codenamed Border Patrol. <laughs> and this gets us to why you are here. I must admit, it's all a bit of an intriguing mystery right now. Some robots have started ignoring their instructions. Until we work out what is going on, robot travel is being carefully controlled via these checkpoints. Operation of this checkpoint is going to be all down to you. <laughs> so, I'll run you through some of the tools you'll need to use. As a trainee Border Patrol agent, you are responsible for deciding which robots are allowed through and which must not be allowed to proceed. Every robot needs to present a valid travel pass. You must confirm all the details are correct. Here is your 3D printer, where you can print off figurines of robots. <laughs> Try printing one off using the buttons on the printer now. Hmm, 
<laughs> Great! <laughs> when a robot comes to the booth, compare it to the printed figurine to make sure the declared class and model on that travel pass matches. <laughs> To help rejig your memory, your watch has been upgraded with tooltip technology so you can get info about things in your booth. Hold the button down on the watch and aim it at the shift display to try it out. <laughs> As you can see, tooltips give you a brief description of what things in the booth are used for. Your shift display can be used to check travel passes are in date and your current performance. <laughs> also, keep an eye on your timer. This can change from day to day. Uh, let's check out something else. Hold your watch button down again to close tooltip mode. Finally, to process a robot, you need to stamp the travel pass with either a pass or fail stamp. <laughs> uh, over here are your booth stamps. <laughs> uh, take one and use it on the travel pass. <laughs> mm. Satisfying, isn't it? Mm? <laughs> uh. Press the button. Start your workday, pull the lever for the shutters here. <laughs> this starts the shift timer, so be ready. Fantastic! <laughs> Just press this next button to call a robot to the booth. <laughs> oh, great stuff! You seem to have the hang of things. I'll speak to you after your shift. Good luck! Everything is funny, as long as it's happening to somebody else. Mind travels faster than sound. This is why some people appear bright until you hear them speak. Congratulations for making it through your 
best. Shift. <laughs> you probably got to see firsthand some of the uh, unusual robot behavior that has been going on. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty strange, isn't it? Hmm? One could even think these machines are developing a bit of a personality. Oh. We'll have to chat about that another time. I need to shoot off. And we just have a uh, couple of end-of-shift details to run through. <laughs> Fortitude decided it would be hmm, motivational to rank all the new booth workers. I'm not sure if I'm really supposed to say this, but <clears throat> it's my understanding. They're exploring an elimination process for people at the bottom. So, do your best. <laughs> be sure to make the most of this opportunity. Being employed is one of the few ways we humans have to earn privileges. For too many, Salvation Heights is just being packed into apartments like beans in cans. And eating beans in cans like, well, uh, I, 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 I'm rambling. This is your rank screen. It shows the progress you've made towards getting your next promotion. <laughs> For successfully completing your first day, you have earned your first rank. Complete key tasks to progress towards higher ranks. These come with various employee benefits. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I must be off. I can't be late. I have tickets to the Rollerpot semi-final tonight. <laughs> oh, a taxi is waiting for you outside. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to your new apartment. To help you feel at home, we sent a salvage bot to recover your belongings. They may have got a few things mixed up, but at least it's all in one convenient pile. I was hoping to give you a bit of a tour of the place, but with all the citywide disruptions, I do need to run. I've uploaded our welcome pack to your home drone, so they'll be able to run you through the facilities. Oh, and before I forget, I've sent over your official Fortitude Smart Gloves that will make life a little easier. Get settled in, and I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again. I'll see you around. Good evening. A delivery drone has arrived with a package. You can collect your deliveries from the drop-off station. These are Fortitude compression containers. They can hold a lot more than you think. Just press the button to open. It appears to be a glove blueprint for the 3D printer. You can add blueprints to the 3D printer to extend your choices. Just slot the cartridge in here. The new glove blueprint has now been unlocked. To change gloves, just select the item you want on the list and put your hands into the printing area. Here are your new work gloves with exclusive extension grab hardware for all your border grabbing needs. Please try it out yourself. Congratulations on performing a successful grab. Over here is the rank screen. Here you can see your current rank and the requirements to level up. Each rank will come with extra perks, such as new items in the Employee Reward Catalog. This storage room is almost as large as your old apartment. I am sure you can store all manner of useless objects in here to gather dust. Speaking of which, here is your dusty vacuum unit, which maintains sanitary protocols. Please interact with the vacuum to initialize its routines. Over here is your primary terminal. This is your primary terminal, where you can access news and messages as in your old apartment. As a Fortitude employee, 
you now have access to the Employee Rewards Catalog, where you can use your credits. Select the Shop app on the display to take a look. Here, you can see how many credits you have, and what items are currently available. Locked items may require a specific rank to access, shown on the icon. Any orders will be delivered by drone right away, so keep an eye on the delivery drop-off point. When you are done, you can press the home button in the top right to get back. Next stop is the kitchen. Here is your meal preparation area. It has everything you could possibly need. Apart from a toasting unit, I will investigate its absence. The final stop on the tour, your bedroom. Over here. The bed includes integrated vitality sensors. No need for Medibot visits while living here. When you are ready to sleep, just press the button on the panel here. <laughs>